Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of our 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be making our way to Good Neighbor. So, without further ado, let's get started. We're going to turn around here. And we're going to cut through some back alleys. Let's make a left. It's going to waste otherwise. Nothing there now. Actually, let's crouch. We have a super mutant up there. Not really a big deal. I was looking for this uh, mine. We're going to take out the spotlight that's up there, and then we'll go inside the Wilson's Atomic Atomatoys Corporate HQ. We're just going to make our way around what? here. No, you want to get me mad! Where'd you go? Huh? Gotta find you. Gotta kill you. Let's open up this door. We're going to listen to a hollow tape, but before we do, let's grab the Wilson Atoma Toys ID card. Now we can listen to the uh, hollow tape. Damn it, Nate, where are you? You have to come out sooner or later. <sighs> After today's meeting, it's going to take a miracle to salvage the site contract, and you decided to take the evening off? Look, I wanted to keep the old man out of it, but what can I do? He called me out in front of the board. I had to fire him. Yeah, Where do you stand, Nate? Yeah. Me and him. I want you in my office Monday at 9 sharp. You discuss the contract. You discuss your resignation. It's up to you. What? I hear something. Let's grab the giddy up buttercup over here. There's Blake tricks on me again. Look at me, brother. I am if you want to turn on some turrets, uh, you can turn them on with this terminal. We're going to grab the key. Not blind, but I am unique. <laughs> Your head is hurt, brother. Brain broken. You don't think right. One day I will be master and will go uh, oh, the uh, 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 you 
Let's lockpick the safe real fast. Nice. Well, there's a classic. We don't want to go to the back bay. Damn it, Piper. These are the turrets, by the way, up here that you could turn on. Back into the terminal. I'm going to unlock this safe by hacking into this terminal. Um, because I don't I don't feel like uh, lock picking the safe. But let's go ahead and um, hack the terminal. Go outside. Now we're going to make our way to the DB Technical High School to pick up a magazine. I believe it's the Unstoppable, so we'll have 3% of a chance of evading all damage. Which is a lot better than 1%. Or 2%. Maybe not a lot better than 2%, but it's definitely a lot better than 1%. Time to reel them in. If we're gonna dance, let's dance. Ain't personal, just you or me. <laughs> All in one piece. I'm using the explosive 10 millimeter pistol, by the way. Let's go inside. Be careful, we have a bottle cap mine here. I guess this place doesn't get a whole heck of a lot of pressure. Only a fucking coward hides. As Show a reminder, your face. Tuesday is the last Come day on, to buy tickets for the Halloween Sadie Hawkins dance with East Boston Bread. You killed her! No need to hide. It'll all be over soon. Someone's out there! Fire! 
You hear that? Was that you? Keep your eyes hey. open. I think that something's out there. You really held your own there, Blue. Blue, we're not alone here. Ever quit walking in front of me? I wish it hadn't come to that. By the way, we did pick up a varsity jacket. Sorry, I didn't say anything uh, earlier about it. It was on top of those lockers. It's not like something you have to pick up. It's just, I think there's only one in the game and I think that's the only one. We'll be able to see anyone coming in here. Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. You can trust me. If you want, you can hack that terminal to uh, turn off the spotlights and uh, the turrets for turret. No, actually, I think there's more than one. I stand corrected. Let's uh, lockpick this ammo box. Got it. This is bullshit. Let's heal. Thought there was one other guy over here. My arm. Never mind. Damn it. Found him. <laughs> Pick the lock on this door. Sweet. And who is this? Ah! Think you can help? Thought I had a critical. <laughs> Stored up, but I was wrong. I was wrong. Where'd that little fucker go? There we go. Grab this mascot head. And then we'll grab the Unstoppables magazine. Excellent. One of my favorite covers for uh, any of the magazines in uh, Fallout 4. There goes any restful sleep I was planning for in the near future. She was talking about the mascot head, by the way. I just interrupted her with picking up the magazine. Let's go ahead and make our way out of the DB Technical High School.
Next up, the combat zone. We're going to follow this road on down, and the combat zone is right in front of us. So let's crouch. What? Trying to be kind of sneaky. Are you little bastard? You're oh. Let's put that combat armor on real fast. the combat zone. No finer place to get murdered in all the commonwealth. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! We're going to take out all the raiders in here and save a new companion. And that concludes this round. Hey, what the? He ain't supposed the... to be in here. Shit. Rip him to shreds. Someone's out there. Up, you Oops. You're a regular artist, aren't you? Oh, man, come back. I was having fun. My leg is broken. There he is. Ah! Girl. Let's do it. Oh. Losing people. Always the ah! they look better that way. Ah! Where'd that little fucker go? One was ugly anyway. You think they're done out there? We don't want any trouble. Not anymore, at least. Oh, just peek your head up, you damn coward. To heck with that. I'm too pretty to go out like this. Yes. Grab picket fences. Why don't you come over here? Show us you don't mean no harm. You finished tearing the place up now? Walls on either side of this cage. Is it over? Well, that could have gone worse. <laughs> I don't know. Seemed quite the performance from where I was standing. Are you fucking high or something? Why am I asking? Of course you are. Was still winning the fight, wasn't I? You're strung out and getting sloppy, is what you are. Of course, I suppose you ain't got to worry about that now. Seems this one just put us out of business. I'm not sure if I should kiss you or have my little bird here feed you your own entrails. I told you to quit calling me that. What is this place? Not from around here, huh? This is the combat zone. Finest arena in the Commonwealth. Kate, here's the headline, 100 plus matches undefeated. We used to serve a more legit clientele. But about two years ago, a gang of raiders rolled in and we became a more exclusive establishment. Up until you took our entire client base out of the gene pool and put us out of business, that is. I'm sorry. It just seemed like you guys might be in trouble. Trouble? Nah. But keeping those idiots entertained was what kept the lights on. Not exactly sure what we're gonna do now. To hell with them. Moral come. Just need a quick breather and I'll be ready to go. A breather? What? So you can slam more of that junk into your arm now? No, you know what? I think this was a blessing in disguise. You caught the end of that bout. What'd you think of Kate's work? Why do you ask? Consider it professional curiosity. Now, what'd you think of the fight? Not sure. I didn't catch the whole thing. Yeah, I guess you were pretty busy cleaning house. 
Impressive work. Makes me think you're good enough to do me a favor. So here's my predicament. I suddenly got no audience. No audience means I got no caps coming in. And if you ain't bringing in caps, little bird, you ain't an asset. You're a liability to me and to yourself. So here's what I'm thinking. What say I let you take over her contract? She goes with you, watches your back. Look, you'd be doing me a favor while I try to get the place back in order. What do you say? Me? And him? Why would you want her to go with me? Yeah, Tommy. Just why the hell are you trying to get rid of me? Look, truth is, all that junk, it's been making you careless. And I don't want to be the one doing color commentary when you finally hit the floor. All right? So just do me this favor. Both of you. Please. Sure. I could use someone watching my back. Good. It's settled then. And here, take this. It's the purse from the last fight. Exterminator's fee. Now just wait a second. What exactly are you gonna do without me here? You don't need to worry about me. I'll get this place set up right. Maybe find a less blood-soaked clientele. Then get the hell out of here. You ain't welcome anymore, little bird. You're a real son of a bitch. You know that, Tommy? You don't have to tell me. I guess you just come find me then when you want to head out. Hey, Kate. So, you're ready to head out? Ready. About time I got out of this place. Let's go. So, no one's managed to put you in the ground yet, Kate? Not yet. Though it isn't for lack of trying. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? Sure. Let's go. Will do. You two have fun together, Piper. Too bad we can't make it a threesome. Never gonna happen, Kate. I love the conversation between Kate and Piper. They always have snide comments towards each other. I think they secretly like each other. Just saying. <laughs> Let's go outside. Now let's make our way to Good Neighbor. Better in our hands anyway. You can talk to that robot, learn about the Freedom Trail. We're not going to. It's really not that big of a deal. I know the password to the ra railroad. Let's get this over with, shall we? There's some super mutants over here, so be careful. Matter of what? fact, one's right Who's there. there. What's that? Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Insurance? That's right. Insurance. Personal protection, like. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Whoa, 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 time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn? 
I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? You? You're a ghoul? That's right. Like my face. I think it gives me a sexy King of the Zombies kind of look. Big hit with the ladies. Listen, a lot of walking rad freaks like me around here. So you might want to keep those kinds of questions on the low burner next time. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Good neighbor? That what you call this place? That's right. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. You'll see. You make enough friends here, you'll call this place home soon enough. So long as you remember who's in charge. Hancock's just such a badass. Let's talk to Daisy. <clears throat> oh, new face walks into my store. And you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. Got any work? I do, actually. Super mutants have taken over the old Boston Public Library. I got a lot of fond memories of that place from when I was a girl and human. You get those lumbering brutes out of there, I'll pay you 200 caps. Actually, I already took care of those super mutants. You did? Huh. Now that's service for you. Here's your money. Oh, and why don't you take this old book of mine? Been holding on to it for a while, if you ever happen to go back there. Let's make our way to the third rail and go inside there. We're going to grab a magazine. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. We're not going to go down in the third rail, even though it's yeah. really cool looking. We're just here to get grab the live and love. Let's head outside and hear um, Hancock's speech. Hey, everyone. Gather around. Let's kick the breeze back. Shoot the fat. Now, I know you all are doing your own thing, but I don't want anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy. Glad you could make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on a date with Morowski the other day? Huh. He wishes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks got to stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now. What out there in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their sins! That's right. Who said that? Come on up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. <laughs> hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lardhead. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not us! At which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? The neighbor. neighbor! And who's in charge of good neighbor? Of the people! For the people! Let's go to Hotel more. Rexford before we go to before the memory I den. Quarantine or some such. Damn, he's a little ass. 
Fred, are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again, or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe if you stopped using, you could focus. What? Where's the fun in cooking it if you ain't using it? My mistake. Oh man, someone new! You need some jet, man? Home brewed? Reasonable prices? You have any work? Yeah, actually, you might be perfect. You know the gunners, right? The high-end mercenaries? Well, a few of them were talking about scavenging around that old hallucinogen building. I mean, just think about that name. There's gotta be some shit there that's out of this world. You get me something, I pay you 200 caps. All right, Fred, we have a deal. You're the best, the absolute best. Hey there, you're new around good neighbor, if I'm not mistaken. What do you think of the place? It's changed a lot since the last time I was here. Been here before? Well, good neighbors definitely come up in the past few years. Mostly since Hancock took over. Name's Rufus. I do repairs around here. Keep the robots running, sell a bit of scrap, that sort of thing. I'm usually here or drinking that swill Charlie slinging at the third rail. Looking for parts? I also might have a job for you if you're interested. I could use work, depending on what it is. Don't know if you've had the beer down at the third rail, but I swear Charlie must have found it in a sewer. Found this hollow tape while doing repairs at the Rexford. Delivery notice for a brewing machine. Pre-war. Thing is, it was never delivered. Well, with all the bombs and all. Done some asking around, and I think it might still be intact. Which is where you come in. What's the catch? The usual. Place it's in as an empty. Might have to shoot your way in. Think you can get a hold of that brewing machine for me? I'm in. Let's do it. Great. So, the brewing machine is in the basement of an old bar called the Shamrock Tap House. When you leave town, make your way around east till you hit Atlantic. Great big grain sign. Bring it back here when you're done. I'm gonna pick up a magazine. It's I another live and love. Here. Nice. And it's actually a really good one because we get five extra exp or five percent extra experience when we travel with a companion. And so far through this whole walkthrough, besides the very beginning, uh, we've had a companion with us. So definitely worth it. Claire. Excuse me. What? No, it can't. No, you may it, not admit it. it but underneath it's that you. Icy face of yours, From Sanctuary you Hills, like right? No, I don't. Oh, I think you do. Come on. I'm the only reason people come to this hotel anymore. Give me a little smile at least. People Wait. come to see you because Are they're you from Vault Tech? I am Vault Tech. 20 years of loyal service. And now look at me. I wasn't on the list for you. Look at you. 200 years and you're still perfect. How? How's that possible? The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thawed out recently. What? vault -Tec never told me that. Unbelievable. Well, I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through the filth, the decay, and the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. You know, you're the only other person I met from before. I, uh, I, oh God. I've been so alone here. No Commonwealth settlement. Once a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Hey, you know, you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit, I promise. Really? 
You, you will? Okay, I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there. Sorry, uh, those NPCs downstairs started talking as soon as I started talking to the Vault Tech representative. I tried to wait them out, and then it was just their conversation was too long. So I decided, ah, fuck it. I'll just continue the conversation. Let's go ahead and get out of the Hotel Rexford. Can't believe it. He looked just like Sammy, too. He sure as hell didn't act like him. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this town? They got another thing coming. <sighs> what am I going to tell his mother? Let's go inside the memory den. Yeah? You got the memory pod loaded up? Oh. You're not Irma. Excuse me. Good neighbor's crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. I hear you. It's a mess out there. It's rough in the best of days. B but now, you ever listen to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83. Wasn't he... a caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days? Must take some getting used to. It seems like people are finally rebuilding and recovering from the nuclear war. Maybe in some parts, like Diamond City, but over here, we got a ways to go. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real, with his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life, so we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Good on you for trying to make the world better. I've heard crazier plans to do it. I just have to do something, you know? I've built my own custom machine gun, even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? As it happens, I already have your costume. There she is. Pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia, too? You're something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. Here you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt or, or his butler, Jarvie Blake. But the Shroud is strong. Capable. Come on, don't sell yourself short. I got a better idea who should wear it. You up for being the Silver Shroud? You already got your own origin story and everything. What with the Cryo Vault and all. Looks like I get to be the Shroud. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbors' streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Here. Some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! Let's get out of the memory den, and then we're gonna end the video. Stay free, man. <laughs> All right, everybody, I want to tell you all, thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe. And like always, everyone, have a good morning, 
a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off. <laughs>